Good morning. It's about six in the morning in South Carolina, and I just got my kid on the bus off to school, and I made a video showing the guys about my Leyden jar. Um, just want to make it clear, I've got no degrees. I'm not any kind of true scientist of any kind, other than the fact that I like to tinker with electricity and many other things, but I made this, uh, watching YouTube, it's a Leyden jar. Um, I made it out of a bottle, some tin foil. This is a magnet off a speaker. Um, that's a screw. So we got a screw, three inch galvanized wood screw. And I put tin foil on it. And I put the tin foil down in there. And I actually put some extra tin foil down in the water too. And the screw goes through the cap and sticks out the top. And I got a little bit of alum aluminum foil or tin foil stuck on the top of it. So I've got some kind of phenomenon happening that if you put this magnet on here. And let it set it starts to generate a small amount of electricity overnight I was able to generate three volts DC I don't know what the ampage was um, it discharges like a Leyden jar and this is my multimeter so I, I really can't do much with this this is kind of the cheap one but Either way, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I'm sure somebody out there can probably tell me why that's doing that. But as far as it goes, I don't know why it's doing it. It doesn't seem to be a chemical reaction. Even though there is some chemical in the water, um, I made... I took some copper... Um, anode and cathode and I put it in this dish if you can see it I put it in this dish and I electrocuted it with about 6 volts and I think like 1 amp or something and it was basically a cell phone charger is what I used to uh, electrocute it on one of the I can't remember if it was an anode or cathode it was the one that does not get plated. It was the one that deteriorates. I put a piece of aluminum foil underneath it, and, it's, and it ate that a little bit too. So this stuff that's in here, you can't really see very good, but that white stuff is what was left behind. And I mixed that with the water because I thought it would make um, a decent electrolyte. So I put some of that and some salt in the water and this thing's generating a little bit of electricity just sitting here on the table um, it doesn't matter if you shake it it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't change anything it just seems to do it at its own pace and I haven't really figured out how to amplify it or make it better or change the outcome the only thing that I know is if I take the magnet off the top it doesn't do it. I, I think that it has something to do with either. Um, I mean, it's possible that there's a chemical reaction happening in there. I don't know. Um, pulling that aluminum foil out this morning, it did look a little bit burnt. I don't know. It could be. Although that's been in there for about a week now. So I don't know what aluminum looks like after it's been in water for a week. Uh not really sure what's happening here, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, this morning I woke up and tested it. There was three volts in it this morning. That's after about uh, eight hours of sitting there and not testing it. And uh, I think it's interesting. I think somebody else should try it and maybe tell me what what's happening. Why is it doing that? Thanks.